Okay, so today we're going to have a look at the uh, Trophy Taker Spring Steel Arrow Rest. This is a um, it's a, a target. It's designed you know, mostly for to be a target arrow rest. Um, I mean, I guess you could use it for hunting and stuff, but mostly would be used for target. Um, they go about uh, sixty bucks. Uh, so they're pretty affordable um, we'll go over just like some of the basic operation here and uh, as usual the tools that you need to make the adjustments and uh, this will just be kind of an overview uh, I'll probably go ahead and swap this blade out here and we'll, we'll look at that a little bit but um I'm gonna be putting this on a bow that I'm setting up for uh, some 3d shooting um, and maybe some indoor here I'll use it for both but um uh, so as i go through that process uh I may make some more videos on this so let's go ahead and have a look at this um we'll start kind of with the basics here this is the uh a mounting bolt and it uses the usual uh 3 16 well i mean it's not always 3 16 but a lot of times so this is just a standard mounting bolt uh for this rest and this is uh, you know a right hand version so the usual stuff you know would mount to the riser here uh, and then you have some adjustability there for you know moving it forward and back so that you know, all comes with it um let's go ahead and have a look at this real quick it does have a um a set screw so this is a 330 seconds uh allen or hex and it's gonna I'll allow you to adjust the set screw. I probably will use this. Um, you'll see once I start working on this bow. It's been around for a while, this target bow. Um, so I'm not going to be too worried about it damaging the finish on the bow. But uh, that may be somewhat of a concern um, uh, with using the set screw. Sometimes they'll, they'll damage your finish a little bit. So while we have the 330 seconds here, um, this is kind of nice. It, it doesn't go too crazy with needing a bunch of extra wrenches. So this will allow us also to change the blade here. These two s screws here, uh, 330 seconds. So we're going to do that here in a second. Um, and then also this launcher angle is adjustable. Okay. So this is also 330 seconds. You would loosen these two. I'm going to leave it where it is for now. But if I wanted to, to adjust this angle of the launcher assembly here, in other words, maybe I wanted to let it lay flatter than it is. Uh, now, you can, you can loosen these two and it'll allow you to, uh, to make an adjustment. Uh, so, there's no micro, everything on this is, is just uh, standard, if you will. You know, just kind of bump it around and stuff. But, this is kind of neat, um, or at least helpful. If you do make an adjustment, we'll get it up close here. If you do make an adjustment to the uh, launcher angle, you do have a scale here. It's not numbered or anything, but at least it has some reference marks. Um, that's probably like about 35 degrees, but I'm just guessing at that. But you do have a scale, so you can kind of keep track. I'm gonna leave it there for now but i just kind of wanted to mention it if you wanted to change it you would loosen this and then you know, this is this is going to rotate and um, again you at least do have some references there so uh, that's pretty nice um for the windage and elevation we'll go ahead and cover that this is a 5 30 seconds so it takes uh, uh three different wrenches to work with this site um, if you exclude the mounting bolt, you know, once you mount it to the bow, you really only need two, the 330 seconds and the 530 seconds. So this would be used for the windage Okay, I'm just loosen that here and then the elevation here. Um, you have a windage scale. It's, this is how it, you know, came out of the package here. So again, once I put it on a bow, you know, I'll kind of probably start about the usual, uh, 13 sixteenths and just kind of go from there hopefully 
that's going to put me somewhere kind of near the middle so I have some um, some slack either way if I want to make an adjustment because that's all I get um, for for windage now for elevation this is kind of nice you have three options here if you do want to change the elevation this is set for now and, and it does adjust you know, we'll look at that here in a minute but you also can slide that up and down as well but if you really needed to you can make a course adjustment you can see it's bolted to the center hole now you can either move it up or down and that's going to change you know where it sets so there it'll give you a little bit more of like a course uh, elevation adjustment but then this too can be adjusted here by loosening this and sliding this up and down and you can see you know there's a scale for that I'll try to get it close so I'll start with it probably in the center position um, I would imagine I would have to move it but I may uh, it's a nice option to have that if um, you know if you need it uh, a little bit of extra adjustment there so um, and that pretty much covers all the adjustment on this let's go ahead and swap the blade out this comes with two blades um this is the they're both ten thousandths um which is the thickness of the, there's also an eighth an eight thousandth version uh and you just break those loose they're not real real um tight go ahead and get a tray here those are pretty small um i'm gonna try not to lose them so we'll go ahead and break this loose. Uh, this comes with the, this is the 10 thousandths wide. That's the thickness of the blade. And then it also comes with a 10 thousandths narrow. And we'll have a look at them here once I get it removed. See two bolts and then that takes care of that. So you know, that refers to the thickness. There's also an 8 thousandths uh, wide and narrow. Let's see them there, available, and um, a twelve thousandths. Okay, so the eight thousandths would be thinner and more flexible. The twelve thousandths would be a little bit thicker, so it would be stiffer. Um, so this is like the medium version, and I'm probably going to be using this narrow launcher. Um, this would be more for like if you were shooting a bigger indoor arrow or like an aluminum. I'm planning on shooting like a standard size carbon arrow. So I'm going to start out with the uh, the narrow launcher, uh, the narrow 10,000th, and uh, see how it goes. I, I think that that'll work fine, but you do have some options. And, you know, if you were to damage these blades or want to try, you know, fine tuning or, you know, maybe you need a different... Uh, set up for some reason or you know uh, you have the option to change these around it's real easy now this is the second generation version of this spring steel uh, the first generation which I don't have and I've never owned so I'm only going by what I've read uh, but they only had a one hole blade system so you do have to be a little bit careful like ordering blades and stuff or if you have the first generation uh, you want to make sure that you're only getting the blades that have one hole this is second generation so it's going to have you know, two so they're available at different places um, this is a fairly popular rest uh, so it's not like something that's that's real obscure to find uh, these parts and stuff for there is also a pro version of this rest um it's pretty similar it looks like i don't have one of them unfortunately to uh to demonstrate but um it looks like it i think it has a, a micro adjust on your windage and your elevation as i recall it's probably the main difference i'm not going to talk a lot about that because I, I, I don't remember for sure but there is an upgraded version of this spring steel um, that I think you know, has the micro and stuff. So uh, if you're interested in that, you can definitely find them. So 
this is a, a good quality rest. They've been around a while. Uh, I'm looking forward to shooting it and trying it out. I'm going to start out with this configuration and um, we'll see how it goes. I'll probably do a couple videos, like I said, once I start working with it and getting it mounted to the bow and uh, working on the tuning and stuff. All right. Have a good day, guys.